Hey guys, Trayvon Smoothtech back again with another video. I know it's been a while since I've actually uploaded a video to YouTube, um, but I wanted to upload this video and I wanted to discuss um, mobile optimization for um, smartphones. So uh, the last video I uploaded or the last time I uh, showed you what phone I was using, I had an iPhone 6 on AT&T. Shortly after that, um, I got the uh, Samsung Galaxy S6. Uh, Shortly after that, um, I got the um, Samsung Galaxy S7 um, Note 7. Shortly after that, because the Note 7, as we all knew, exploded and I had to get a new phone, so I got the Galaxy S7 Edge. Had this phone for about seven months. It's actually right here sitting on my desk. It's a Galaxy S7 Edge Silver. Love the phone, love the design, awesome product. Um, but what I noticed is after using it for um, about seven months now, um, I noticed that apps were running very slow, they were crashing. Um, my phone actually kept freezing several times. I mean, one time I was in Vegas with my girlfriend's family and my phone completely froze for about 30 minutes and I had to do all kind of things to get it back up and running. So I got very frustrated and I went um, this past Saturday and picked up the um, Samsung or the iPhone 7 Plus. And um, when I had the iPhone 6 and I had it for about eight or nine months, I noticed that everything was very snappy nothing lagged even after a long time of using it um, after months and months of using it it did not slow down it did not feel sluggish everything just worked really fast and that's due to apple's optimization and so um if you have been watching my videos for a while now you know that i am both an android fan and an apple fan and both for entirely different reasons I love Android and the customization that it gives, and I really love the build quality of the Samsung phones. Um, so as you can remember, I've had LG, Samsung, HTC, um, and Apple phones. And so, um, to me, Samsung is near and dear to my heart. Um, if, if you look at the screen, it, it's a year old now. They came out with the Galaxy S7, the Galaxy S8, sorry. Um, but this phone is still a gorgeous phone and it looks beautiful, feels nice in the hand. And I noticed even when scrolling on the glass of the Samsung phone, it actually felt a lot smoother, in my opinion, than the iPhone, um, the iPhone 7 Plus did. But I am using the uh, 7 Plus and I'm going to see how long I can actually keep using the 7 Plus because everyone knows that iPhone is very stale when it comes to customization. And I really love customizing my phone for the mood or the occasion that I'm feeling at that moment. And um, so I'm going to see how... One thing I have noticed so far is the battery life on this thing has lasted me all day long. Um, I don't know if you could see up there, but uh, currently I have about 52% battery life left. And I'm a heavy user, and let's jump into the settings really quick to show you how much um, screen on time I have used. And what I typically do is charge it for about 30 minutes halfway throughout the day when I'm sitting at my desk. And that um, puts me basically on a full battery. So as you can see... Um, Oh, hopefully you can see dang no 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 and let me see if I can turn down the brightness so as you can see I've been using it for about six hours and 48 minutes and that's on screen that's usage time and 18 hours of standby time so that definitely kills uh, any Samsung phone I've ever used um, even though these phones have quick charging and these screens are just so gorgeous and that's what eats up a lot of the battery life. So I just want to come and talk about mobile optimization and show you guys what I'm currently using. I'll keep you guys updated in about a week or so on the progress of the iPhone. I also have the Samsung Galaxy S, um, Galaxy Gear S3 when I had the Android and I'm using it currently with my iPhone so if you guys are interested in seeing how that works let me know but I'm gonna say right now that I am getting the Apple Watch because the connectivity with the Apple Watch and the iPhone is so much better 
Well, once again, this is Smooth Tech. Nice to be back uploading a video on YouTube again. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, as always, click the uh, thumbs up button. And if you are new to watching this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.